a very good morning to you all a little bit more energy please a very good morning to you all thank you i don't remember when i was in front of an young audience like you in a college uh, i'm more often than not in a corporate surrounding the audience is never as big as this it's a much smaller audience so i am when i was asked to do this session for about 30 minutes i wanted to think what should i be talking about what should be something that i would have to say to somebody of your age so one thing that crossed my mind of course when in engineering colleges or in any college for that matter you will all of us have our favorite teachers favorite professors somebody who really inspires and someone when he or she is handling the session you want to not miss that session do we all have one such teacher professor lecturer raise your hands all of us have somebody or other like that there is one professor who to whom you know i was addicted to he was you know, i did my mechanical engineering uh, stuff there's a subject called dynamics of machinery and uh, you know in engineering you have a lot of engineering derivations to be derived for every little subject there is a derivation waiting for you every other day and uh, sometimes it's pretty boring do you all agree with me on that and you have about 10 marks or 15 marks given to one derivation given you can't escape it also you can uh, in option to odumbe either or either or either you derive this or you derive that so something has to be derived out of it so you to get that 15 marks you have to slog and derivations generally i never liked it to tell you the truth and uh, how many of you like it no raise of hands so all of you are my kind so give yourself a big round of applause for that but this is a one professor who made deriving an equation an absolute pleasure for me let me just revisit and show you how he used to do things i'm going to ask you some simple questions i'm sure all of you will be ready to answer them right imagine you are traveling in a train and you are traveling the train is traveling from here in this direction that way okay all of you have traveled in the train all of you have traveled in one direction suddenly sometime in that travel you get a feeling though the tra train is going from me away from there to that direction you get a feeling the train is moving the other way have you ever experienced that yes yes or no when does that happen you're moving this direction the train is going at a fair clip but suddenly you get a feel the train is moving behind or backwards have you all experienced this yes or no when does that happen i want the answer to come as long as the answer is the answer i'm going to wait for it when does it happen think about it your train is moving this way you get an illusion that it you are going back ah when when we see a train in the opposite direction not only in the opposite direction there is something more to it what is that it's moving faster than that of yours at that point in time you get that illusion though though yours yours is moving at a fair clip that is moving at a faster clip than that of yours as a result of it you get an illusion that is moving this way this is the question that he will put when he is talking about a subject called relative motion he is you one topic of uh, dynamics of machinery was relative motion he will put this question and 45 minutes down the line of course he will say when the train is moving the wheels of the train on on the track the rail rails they have friction right so what is that friction called as any idea i still remember it used to be called mu coefficient of friction right so he used to talk about this story and he'll tell you a long engaging story where a lot of questions will be put you keep answering these questions 45 minutes down the line the engineering derivation would be done the best part of it is if you forget the equation you need to revisit the story when you revisit the story you will know what it is and then you can derive it yourself 
so it was a beautiful and a subject like dynamics of machinery which has a lot of equations to be derived almost every other page you will have an equation to derive and he used to derive it close and his sessions won't be more than 35 40 minutes he'll say 45 minute session he'll finish it in 35 minutes and rewind a little for five minutes and leave it what is the reason that i liked him because simply every single when he inspired me and that is what has become my career in one way he inspired me to say everything in such a manner that it is rememberable not just for that day not for that se semester or that session for the rest of your lives about 20 years back whatever happened i'm explaining this to you and i still remember that topic whereas all other topics are forgotten i don't even remember any of that it is just because it is put across to you in such a manner or rather put across to me in such a manner that i'm going to remember this for rest of my lives why is that different put your thought into it i want to put this question like when i see the big audience here i see future sundar pichais who is going to be that time will tell uh, there is one already give him a big round of applause stand up stand up get the recognition one day when it becomes a reality okay you can say on the on that particular session that happened in this college that day this time sure. i said it sure and give him a big round that is the confidence that you need so we'll engage further take your seat for now what i'm trying to tell you is the message that you have okay he is highlighted himself in one particular way beautifully what i want to do is think about yourself the earlier speakers gave you some indications as what is happening in india the two sides of bharat and stuff like that whether you become an entrepreneur whether you are going to become an academician whether you are going to be a professional or whether you are going to be a freelancer whether whatever be the industry the one thing very important the first impression is very important and what is the first impression that you are going to leave on the audience somebody who is going to employ you somebody is going to engage you somebody is going to use your services in some way or the other whatever be this this thing what is the first thing that you send when when this topic was there somebody said send me your linkedin profile somebody will look into it and see if this guy fits in yes or no somewhere i thought i got about 35 marks in passing so i'm that's why i'm talking here so so what is that that you need to tell them i'm just trying to reconnect with my original example of my professor by the way the name of that professor is darani venkatakrishna he was a professor of cit and he used to handle a dynamics of history and also used to handle a subject called operations research for those who know or operations research so a very dry subject but for that dry subject he gives you some outstanding stories to remember for the rest of your lives so how will you present your case first impression you're going to go out of college you're going to talk to somebody to get yourself a job or get get yourself a deal or whatever be it there should be a first impression how should be that impression what should the impression be on the other side can you think of it should it be similar to the impression that i had as a student from my professor yes or no should it be remembered for rest of the life yes or no big no silence means no is it should it be remembered for rest of their lives if there are 10 cvs that come their way your cv should stand out in such a manner that i wish this person joins my company should be that company's view do you all agree is that possible possible how and why i'll give you a little detail arvind i just want you to put one the pdf no not the cv not the cv not not this not this the the first slide the first slide of the ppt yeah build it up i just want you to i'm not going to deal with it it's not a training session i'm just giving you some small little inputs so that you can put and ponder over it and put it to use there are two sides your brain on facts when somebody is giving you a lot of facts okay 
you see the two red dots on the left hand side only those those two parts of your brain is put to use as a result of which the memory is not going to be long lasting people will not remember but when your brain when you communicate your message okay in a very very attractive way and you tell them a story in whatever be the format whether it is print audio video web whatever be it how does your brain remember that the details are provided there on the right hand side your brain on persuasive story these are the parts of the brain that get activated so as a result of which whatever you communicate will be remembered very strongly that's why i remember the sessions that my professor handled so the underlining point is whatever you say say it with a story in mind the audience should get hooked on to whatever you're saying whether it is your cv whether it's a product that you're innovating whether it's a service that you're offering or whatever be it whatever be the information the message that needs to go should be so beautifully packaged sugar coated but not on wrong facts sugar coated all that on right tracks and presented in such a manner that the receiving side should lap it up instantly are we all with that okay i'll just show you one more side just to give you a little bit more of an, an example okay so there are three important aspects of telling your story your story should have emotion the story should have a concept the story should also have information right information with a wonderful concept and a lot of emotion package it beautifully and present it as a story your deal is made instantly so since i as i said i'm not handling a big session i'm just giving you bits and pieces so these are little inputs maybe i can share it with your principal as a email or whatever you can in turn get it you can do your homework and r and d and get better at it or you can just put one cv of uh, this thing now these tidbits being given i want you people to think on how you are going to write your cv with this background think what will impact the audience and write a cv because no two people in this hall are same each one has a unique strength bring that unique strength in a beautiful story like what this man has done you can zoom in if possible so he has all that it's a glittering career he needs no introduction but in one page he has communicated all his outstanding deeds in a crisp manner that's what is expected of you as well if you spend a lot of time making your cv very 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 attractive the rest of the work is easy for you so spend a lot of time on it because i don't have too much of time i'm i've been given a little bit of a deadline or a target so i'm running behind it so in terms of time spend some time on it i'll share all the three things with you as an email through your principal it probably reach you so this is food for thought point number 1 very important i call this your story in one page think about it put it to use and if it happens to be helping you in a big way i'll be the happiest person let's move on to something else point number 2 harvin play the video and i want this you to look at a 3 minute video that that's going to be played look into it and again i want a few of you to answer a few important questions on this take a look at it listen to it intently thing and everything that i speak about is a story what is this story about that's my question what is one key highlight in this particular story what you saw it's a 3 minute video without which this is is impossible what is it ha huh? coordination okay any other name in which you can call it yes come again team work you stand up please give him a thunderous round of applause what's your name what's your name srinivasan sir from bmeb second year bmeb fantastic so this is the most important aspect that i want to leave you with you have a great cv you get your job you get your 
business running anything is possible but something as beautiful as what you saw on television isn't possible by one person your careers your entrepreneurship your social entrepreneurship whatever you want to do in future everything is possible in a grand scale one and only if you have a fantastic team to work with a lot of people don't get told this when they are in schools and colleges i realized it a little later that it's a team that makes everything possible what do you see here in this hall to your left to your right in front of you behind you are going to be the ones who are going to be ceos are the, are going to be the ones who are going to be the managing directors are going to be top officials 25 years from now india well it's celebrating its 75th year when it's going today we are celebrating it now when india is going to be celebrating 100 years of its independence you people will be leading the show so when you see around in this room the kind of friends that you have here make sure you build put a lot of effort into it and build a relationship that will last for the rest of the lifetime as soon as the college finishes and sign off and say okay bye bye see you don't leave them alone keep the whatsapp group going keep personal contacts going keep all that happening because with that team only what you saw there in your own domain this happens to be flying you might do something else depending on, upon your interest but that kind of outrageously good result what you see there it is not one person's work it's not even just one team's work it is evolved initially it would have been a small team think of it they would have done a little small sorty here and there then they would have tried why not i do this that one generation would have spent in becoming good that's a team that's about 50 60 years or 70 years in the making and after that the next team the next person who gets into the team is capable of doing that at, at day one day two right all their experiences transfer to them they get good at it so when it keeps growing and growing and growing step by step step by step step by step the net result is what you see out outstanding performances great results is never made possible by one person it requires a team so this is one area where i want i i would have liked myself to be told or given this input at that point of time when i was your age since i didn't get it it took me a long time to realize it now i built a fantastic team most of the things that i do is like see for example arvind is the one doing the video i said i like this video download it put it and he's playing the video so he is doing all the job i'm just doing the easiest part of it which is talking so build a team which will help you achieve outstanding results given there was a bit of a time lag at the start i was asked to finish by 12:15 now the time is about 12:14 so i'll <laughs> that's why usual time to finish on 12:15 is is the target this these are the two important messages i had one or two more things to say but i'll i'll reserve it for later because of the time constraints i'll just want to leave you with two things a cv that has an outstanding story about yourself have a mentor who can guide you to tell you tell that story to the world just one second just one second okay so and the last part of it is build a team while build, when it comes to building a team not everybody will become a part of your team that's important point it's not just how many people you have it's not the case who is the right member in the team is that the right attitude that they carry is there a sync in what you think and how they think and can you combine together and work well and great do something great put all these conditions in place and keep building the team for rest of your life and don't see who is superior who is inferior who is getting the credit who is not getting the credit the team eventually will get you the credit that you you deserve so that's the most important aspect in careers rest everything will come and go technology will come and go but what you are building here this team is possible only now 15 years later or 10 years later you look back you will not have your college mate you have you you have have to make a new friend who is almost an unknown person and then it takes a long time to get that same sync but 
from your college from your school if you build that network and build that team you are going to be setting yourself up for great careers that would leave our country india at 100 as a superpower so india becoming a superpower is in your hands so wishing all of you all the very best have a career have a business life have whatever you let all your dreams come true and let my little presentation be a little bit of a trigger for that thank you very much